1973 Sportorama. Whew. Let's do it. Coin it up. There you have. All right. side and basically assist yourself. So it's like Pong on steroids. Damn it. And it does get confusing. You can also use it just, just to uh, kind of fake your opponent out. It's really cool. No! spit on it. Damn it. No. Ah, come on. No! I missed it. Mm. No, you tricked me! Oh my gosh. No! You're going too fast. So again, this is 1973 United Games Incorporated Sportorama. And this is obviously a Pong clone, an unbelievable Pong clone. And if you see, just look at the condition of this cabinet. It is nuts. This thing is like brand new. I just checked the, uh, the coin counter when I was doing the full restore, and this machine had, I think, slightly over 5,000 plays, which is ridiculous if you consider the fact that it's nearly 45 years old. Um, it's just an amazing, amazing machine. More than 45 at this, at this point. So again, this has regular uh, Pong that you can play. Um, there's actually four games on here. Tennis, Hockey, Attack, and Karate. All forms of ball and paddle games. Um, you have a selector in the middle of your screen. Right now, we're playing attack. Um, you can slide over to tennis and be regular pong. But attack is just such a sweet game because it involves the, uh, the ability to, to take your paddle and transition it over into your opponent's side of the screen and assist yourself. Uh, very, very cool stuff. Let's go again, Connie. I'll put like one. Yeah, it's not going to matter. It doesn't register like that. Not this old school one. You weren't ready. God. Dude. Well, it's because it goes so fast. No. Oh. Yes. There you no. go. Whoa! No! I went through my battle! I went through. You could have gotten that one. that to myself. Damn, a nice one. That was good. No! Oh, no! good return. Damn. Oh. No! Yes! <laughs> Played again. Yeah. It's not going to have it. I told you it doesn't, solve, it doesn't hold it. This is, again, 1973. You start... Yeah, you did. You pushed start. Damn it. Ooh. Good! <laughs> Damn! Oh! Oh! You whipped on that one! Oh! 6 1. There you go. No. I'm telling you, attack is insane. Oh! <laughs> and when you're in attack mode,
mode and you're you're positioned to go on the other opponent, if they catch you and you're not there, I mean it is takes some ultra reflexes to come back at it. Three to eight. Oh. Nice. Oh! oh. That's right there what I'm talking about. You have got to be able to uh, to get back to him. Nice, Connie. Connie comes back with a win, 11 to 6. All right, paddle in the middle. Oh, or not. There you go. It's so easy to get pumped up, believe it or not. No! Oh! oh! I was following your paddle. Why? Why were you? Oh, very smart. Oh! No! no! <laughs> you just need one more. You're going to win. I knew it! All right. I knew it! Tell me when you're ready. Ready, set, go. What the heck? I'm surprised I got oh. that one. No. <laughs> 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 it went under mine. Da da. Da da. Oh, da da. Oh. I love attack, man. This is Don't nuts. Don't stupid. Pong never played so good. Don't want stupid to right little I'm gonna. The next party we have, we are playing this big no. time for money. No. Because this is insane. Oh. This is so much fun. Uh. Yeah. Oh my god. I gotta believe this is one of the best Pong clones. Oh, yes. nice. We really haven't stopped playing Attack. We've been playing for probably about an hour and a half now. We've just been fine-tuning the monitor. Um, obviously, this was a, a minor restoration. You know, there's, there was some issues with the cabinet that we really had to address. Um, nice, Connie. And uh, we took care of those. You know, we had the laminate was coming off. Jeez, I can't. I gotta get serious all of a sudden. Oh. Yeah. So like the uh, the laminate sides here, this was all uh, completely loose. Um, the T molding was pulled up. It was bent over. The control panel basically we disassembled. Um, the wiring harness I left, that was pretty intricate, especially with the rotary here. Um, all of the potentiometers were basically disassembled, the, the backs popped off. Uh, we cleaned with contact cleaner really, really well. There's a lot of gunk in there. The wipers were not working uh, at all. I mean, some of them were terrible. The, the monitor was a full rebuild. Connie, wait to start. Um, not a full rebuild, but it was... A lot of issues. It didn't look like it looks now, and it still needs uh, some caps replaced. I've got to get them individually because there's no cap kit for this from 1973. So, uh, you know, some of the, the wood pieces on the bottom of the frame, those were rotted. We pulled those, we replaced them, um, and just cleaned it up really good because, like I said, this T molding, like, this is nuts. This just looks amazing to me. Dad? Yeah, let's go. Get ready. Certain caps are going to make that 
uh, yeah, sounds way Dad. better. I've adjusted as much as I can, uh, and it looks pretty good, and it plays pretty good. <clears throat> but there is about a, a quarter inch, um, or a little bit more at the bottom, that are, is basically, you can't get it. You can, you can see it, but you can't adjust to it. Jeezum! That is a slaughtering! <laughs> nice job! Like, here, step away for a second. Look at this coin door! Here, step, Connie, steps to the side. Aww. Look at how sweet this thing is. Rounded out edges along with the, um, you know, this is nice routing job with the uh, laminate, and it's just, it's so pretty. Opens up, beautiful coin mech. I mean, this thing was like, it's as close to new and home use only as you could possibly get. All the steel, the steel rails. God, I love this thing. Even the paper, you know, I took this out. And at first, I was really going to go to town and try to brighten it up, and I'm like, no. I just took the vacuum with a, a very soft bristle brush and kind of cleaned it up a little bit. Sportorama up top. This is just amazing looking cabinet. I'm so, so excited to have this for uh, Arcade Resurrection. Let's go, Connie. Oh, you kind of got me off guard there. Darn it. I could have had that. No. Yes. I gotta win one. I think I've lost two or three in a row. Yeah. You've lost three in a row. No! Yes, there's two. Okay. You gotta stay on my side. <laughs> oh, how do you like that? No! <laughs> with the attack button. Yes! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> this is a slaughtering right now. No! You gotta calm down. Remember, you, up top isn't an issue. You should be able to get everything up top. Oh, as I miss one. Yeah. Oh! to go away without a fight. Yeah! That was a nice assist. There what? she is, right there. No! <laughs> Let's Come go. on! Dad, why did you do that? Me, haha. You, you, for... probably see in, in the, one of the camera views that there is the, a small potentiometer um, that we're using for the attack button and uh, it's the same as the start button as far as the actual uh, button um, but you're basically having to push and hold and, and your controls for your uh, your paddle is simply a spinner I shouldn't say simply because there was tons of pong clones that didn't have that um, and they utilize other controls. No! Dad, you're just beating me. It's not fair. But obviously, you know, everybody remembers Pong for, um, you know, Nolan Bushnell and it being Atari's very first game, um, which was groundbreaking at the time. And it, it you know, took off. It was the first uh, hugely successful coin-operated video arcade game that anybody had ever seen. And, of course, everyone that was already in the market, and tons that weren't, decided that they could also do the same. And they were buying machines, uh, bringing it to their manufacturing, letting their engineers uh, get a hold of them, and basically reverse engineering everything, or in some cases, simply doing just a one-to-one -one match as much as they could, as close as they could. And the game... Calm down, dude. The game just, uh, it took off, and it was, it was starting to show up in places where people didn't uh, ever see uh, amusement machines and coin-op amusement games. So that was the cool thing about Atari, and uh, I've seen a lot of the clones. You know, I know a lot about the, the history uh, between Midway and Atari, um, and uh, different games like Allied Leisure's Paddleball and stuff like that. 
um, or paddle battle, I can't remember which one it was. Um, Midways, of course, was winner. But when I came across this machine, because of the condition uh, that it was in uh, physically, I knew I had to have it. And I was able to make a deal uh, with my buddy Vinny, and huge shout out to him. Uh, he was very, very gracious uh, with letting me grab this one. And I'm, like I said before, super excited to be able to display it uh, in the future arcade. I oh, you already got it situated? No! Calm down, you'll never get it when you're that excited. That's the other thing is basically you can play it like you you have two turns you know while you're you can be up top oh nice um, you can be in your own area but then you can also have that chance to get it in front of them like that or if you miss it you can get the back part so you're, you're playing both sides and if you're if you're smart you can you know you could really do some damage there Give it another go here. No! And of course, as everyone probably already knows, uh, there is no, you know, IC computer chips in this. This is all uh, common. TTL logic. This is as basic uh, as of an instrument on a PCB board as you're possibly going to be able to get. <gasps> Let's do for the for the finale. Dude, you gotta calm down. For the finale. Can we do hockey? Hockey's like the regular tennis. Let's to keep doing attack, or unless you want to do regular tennis. Regular tennis. So hockey. All right. Like there's regular, there's no pong. Like regular tennis. I don't know what hockey is really. I'm guessing it's like regular tennis. I don't know. Okay. You want to try regular tennis? Regular pong? Yeah. You want to try hockey? Let's try yeah. hockey. All right. We're gonna try hockey. I don't think there's any difference. Oh! How did you make yours go away? I did this. Yeah, but that's that. You're just shorting out something at that point. Buttons. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, literally. Yeah, but is that helping you? No. All right then. It disappeared, so that's. The attack button doesn't work with hockey or tennis. It's specific to karate or attack. I want to try. Karate. I think it's just based on. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't know what the hell this is. It's hockey. I don't know what's hockey about it, but. <laughs> I think that it glides better. Oh Jesus. <laughs> what it is. That's that bottom part I was telling you about. So Damn it. Seven seven. Seven eleven. Revin seven. Kevin Evan. Seven. Yeah. Seven eight. Seven nine. Yeah. Seven Clayton. Seven Terry Pins. Oh. Yes. All right, let's
let's play a regular Yay! tennis game. Let's try this, and then we'll do a best of three for it's attack. It's basically the same. Let's see. No, I, I think this is definitely quicker. Hockey is definitely slower. I think you're right. Look at the speed difference. Do you notice that? Yeah. Yeah, there is definitely a difference. Mm. Let, let's see if you can see it during if I switch right here. Ready? I don't think it stopped. It didn't change. There's no doubt that it, it seems quicker anyways. slows down, it seems the same. Yeah, it's definitely, I don't think it's the same. Woo! Nice return! No! It was undermined! Alright, let's play attack. We're gonna do a, uh, the first to three, not best of three, first to three. Ready? Mm -hmm. Ow. Alright, let's go. You should get there. There's nothing that you can't get up top. My attack. Oh, it's the other attack. God. Would you stop? But I. Oh. Yes. Butterfinger. Ooh, nice. Sutterfinger. Winger, singer, tinger. Woohoo! Nice. Yeah. That's very good. I'm not going to lie. Six all. Damn it! <laughs> Jeez, of Connie is in my court. Wow, he is demolishing me. Wow, that was crazy. I think I was up six low. All right, let's go. Come on. Destroyed here. This attack in your own court is no joke. Oh, woo, it went through though. Six. Daddy's taking the lead. No. Why can't I get that? Yes. Yeah, it's gonna be a one-one game. There it is. Get ready. Get ready. Ready? Yeah. You're hitting the wrong attack button. Doesn't matter because it was on your side. <laughs> no. One. Dumb, stupid. Connie, I told you, not that language. The attack is amazing. No, it isn't. It's weird. 
weird. I don't like it. No! No! Oh! No! All right. Mm, it's, I'm dumb. It's, this could be game point. You're not dumb. Yes, I am. It's a very tough game. Get ready. I know. I heard you already got a point. Because a love is zero in tennis. <laughs> Two love. Two love. Ah! Four love. No! 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 Connie, but it off. won't but work! That, comrade. It does work. Seriously. I <laughs> have to go to the bottom. Dude, just chill. You're definitely way too loud for this. No! Sportorama from United Games Incorporated. Super, super cool machine. I hope you guys liked it. Um, you can see, just look at the size of this cabinet. This thing is amazing. And you can see how pumped people get when they play it. Like, this just gets people going. It's a simplistic game that inside of a competitive environment people want to keep playing. And when you throw in the attack, this game just is... I, I'm super, super pumped to have this for our next uh, game night. So, Arcade Resurrection, check us out, follow us both on Instagram, Facebook, and on YouTube. Like, subscribe, whatever you gotta do. We've got a lot of content that's been coming out. I hope you guys have been enjoying